Hello, and welcome to Me Time. What is Me Time, you might ask? Me Time is when Brian is streaming, Chewie's just back here, hanging out. He's been fed, the cat's asleep, I have a cup of tea, and I just get to spend some time with myself, not worrying about anybody else. So that's Me Time. You may notice that I got a new microphone. Hello? I don't know what it's gonna sound like, honestly. This that might have been incredibly awful and jarring. I have a few new things that I want to try out because I can't stop buying things on the internet. Because I don't leave the house. Because I am incredibly stressed out about the pandemic. Um, apparently I made it up. It's all in my head. I imagined it. I love that for me. So the things I want to try out today are is pure four in one love yourself a foundation i ordered this online i think i color matched myself pretty okay um for buying it online but robbie ducrissy says that this is the best foundation ever so i'm just gonna try it and then um i got some stuff from ColourPop. also um i got some stuff from ulta i got a ton of stuff that i'm just gonna try um we'll see if it works or if it doesn't but whatever this is just gonna be me time. It's all about me right now. Going to moisturize my face. Um, I just got done having a little bit of a anxiety attack because I go back to work on Monday. Today is Friday and I'm really nervous for context. If you don't know, I'm a teacher in Florida. Monday we go back, no kids, just teachers, which is not, you know, worst case scenario, but as somebody who has literally been quarantined in their home since the beginning of March, I'm really, I'm really nervous um, because I, I'm just well informed about what's going on. I, I wish we'd stay home. My husband's been doing his job from home. Um, he goes in to work maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Um, it's very scary to start thinking about going back full-time, full load full kids in my classroom. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't know why I said but anyway. I'm probably going to talk about this the whole time because it's weighing very heavily on me. Okay, bunny. Oh. Um, also, Chewy might be on his throne. <laughs> I set that up for him. He had a little bit of a, um, a hard time this week. He got kind of not severely sick, but he got sick earlier this week. He never gets sick. I'm using the e.l.f. Um, poreless putty primer. Um... He just woke up, I think it was Tuesday, um, wouldn't let us touch his tummy, cried when we picked him up, um, very uncomfortable, um, so we took him straight to the vet, and they did x-rays, they did blood work, and they said that he just had, like, some, wow, I'm getting really red, um, he just had some, like, irritated intestines, he basically had a very expensive stomach ache. Um, so, he's been on medication, he's doing a lot better now, it's only been, like, two or three days, and he's doing much better, but, um, I kind of have this nice setup for him so that he can rest, because he had a hard couple days with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of translucent powder under my base, because I know that this doesn't dry down all the way, it stays a little dewy, and this is what I would do with my foundation anyway because I really like being matte. It's not a lot of powder, um, it's just a little bit. And then I'll spray myself with setting spray to kind of dissipate the powder so it doesn't clump up under the foundation. Um, I've gotten a few things to like prepare myself for going back to the classroom. How to go back to the classroom <laughs> if you are a teacher. I have some like tips and ideas. So this is in the shade LN4, 
think it stands for light neutral four. Oh. 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 That's not cute. I know it doesn't look like it, but my skin has been like really good since quarantine and I'm kind of like mad that nobody got to see it all summer. So this has a pump and it also, if you open it, has a doe foot applicator, um, which I think is kind of cool. I'm going to use the pump because it's a little more sanitary and I'm going to use my Morphe sponge because that's just my favorite thing to use. I'm going to use one pump. I usually use one pump of any foundation. I'm not used to using like fancy ex Oh, she's she's <laughs> It's watery. I don't think you can tell but Ew, do y'all see that? Look. It's very watery. Maybe I should have shaken it. gonna do it but anyway um we'll see how it looks so some things that have gotten to prepare myself for going back to the classroom would be obviously masks I ordered some on Redbubble editing Chelsea here I received the masks from Redbubble they are awful do not order masks from Redbubble they are, they are made of like this really stretchy fabric and if you stretch it out you can see right through it uh the ear loops are way too long and flimsy they're literally secured with like one stitch moral of the story you can buy better masks at the same price from anywhere else um so yeah i'll be returning those masks to redbubble i'm gonna need another pump because this isn't giving me as much coverage as i thought it would this pump is a lot thicker Maybe I should have just shaken it. Maybe I'm just dumb. It happens. Um, but yeah, ordered all my clothes on Amazon because my plan is to come in through our side garage door, which opens up right to our washer and our dryer, throw all my clothes in the washer and the dryer, and um, run to the bathroom and take a shower as soon as I get home. Kind of like decontaminate. But doesn't really matter if um, you are infected. <laughs> you can't wash it off if it's already in you. So hopefully that keeps us from getting infected. I also got a face shield. Um, I'm going to try and like cover some of my face shield with stickers so that it's not as, um, I mean, goofy looking. I don't know what else to call it. It looks crazy. Oh, I got some Skechers loafers, which I really like loafers to begin with. And I love um, Skechers. I love Bob's. So when I was looking, they had some loafers that also had memory foam, which is my favorite part about Bob's. And they were cooling and they can go in the washing machine. So I can wash my shoes like once a week. Um, usually... I'll just leave them by the side door that I come in. Um, do you like how I have the whole thing planned because I'm a Virgo? Um, some other things that I got, I got a big pack of gum because um, it's hard to wear a mask and like sniff your own mouth <laughs> for a couple hours. Um, so I got a giant pack of gum. I got some filter inserts for my masks. It doesn't make them N95 but it does offer like a little extra protection. I think the coverage on this is pretty good. I think I matched my shade pretty well for doing it online. Not as like full coverage as I was expecting, but that's why they invented concealer. Oh, um, somebody recommended, I'll just, I have these right here. Somebody recommended these. I won't be wearing makeup under a mask when I go back to work. I'll probably just do eye makeup, honestly. Um, but somebody recommended getting like face cleaning cloths so that when you're on a break, you can wash your hands and then um, just give your like face under your mask a wipe in the middle of the day. Oh, speaking of stickers, I said that I was gonna cover my face mask in stickers. I have those here, I got these on Amazon for a couple bucks. Everything is from Amazon. 
Um, <laughs> don't come for me for buying everything on Amazon because I already paid for my year of Prime um, and there is no ethical consumption under capitalism, so please leave me alone. Um, but yeah, I got these stickers on Amazon. I think they're from a small business. And another small business, uh, one of my students was selling stickers in her Etsy. You guys should check her out. Look at these. I just got these in the mail. Look how cool. This like matches my vibe perfectly. These are really high quality stickers. How cool is that? She did the art all by herself. Check her out on Etsy. It's um, Art Zingbo. And she also sent me a bunch of like extra little like Sheba stickers and Van Gogh stickers. How cute is that? It was her birthday recently, so happy birthday, Zoe. Um, and this like made me tear up. I just thought that this was the coolest thing. I don't, I'm like <laughs> extra proud of my kids all the time. So her like business card that she did by hand was so cool. So Zingbo at Etsy.com. So check her out if you guys like the vibe of these stickers. How cool is that? Back to makeup. But I thought I'd give Zoe a shout out because I'm really happy with those stickers. I'll probably put those on my laptop too. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 23. This is full coverage, full coverage. This has the tendency to make me crease under my under eyes, um, but I don't care. Everything makes me crease under my under eyes, so might as well use something full coverage. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, how have you guys been? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Ooh, that's a lot of coverage. You see that? <sighs> Juvia. Juvia. Wow. That's not her real name, but they did a really good job on the concealer and foundation. Oh, uh, another thing I got for going back to work. This had a set of these headbands. I want to say I got like, did I get 15? I think it was a pack of 15 on Amazon because um, I'm going to have to put my hair up. Again, wanted to get something that I could just throw in, the, like I can throw this in the washing machine. And all this stuff is like cheap on Amazon. So if it breaks in the washing machine or like falls apart, I'm not heartbroken. It's not something that I went to the store, saw, fell in love with, whatever. I literally just bought bare essentials of stuff I need on Amazon to get me through this year or however long we stay before they shut the schools down again. This is probably going to get all over my shirt, but I'm going to set my face because this is pretty dewy. Not that's a bad thing. Um, I just like having matte skin because I have a lot of texture um, because I have acne. So, um, sometimes having dewy skin will emphasize, like, my acne scars and marks and stuff like that. So, I just set that with, uh, Airspun. I kind of want to, I mean, I'm wearing all black, so I kind of want to do this one. Blow and smoke. And this is cute, right? Obviously, it gets fingerprints on it pretty easily. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it is cheap, so it's going to look cheap, right? These are pretty tiny. I mean, I'm not mad at the... Is everybody in this town driving, like, a really loud car right now? <sighs> what should I do with this palette? Okay. So, I'm gonna try and do just kind of, like, a really simple gray smoky eye. I'm like coming home from the loud exhaust convention. I'm gonna prime my eye really quick with um, Urban Decay primer. I want to talk about um, the hero rhetoric surrounding teachers.
that's something that I want to talk about because somebody called me that again today and there's a lot of like merchandise out there that talks about like I'm a teacher what's your superpower and teachers are superheroes and heroes 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 teachers are heroes oh my gosh and there was a lot of rhetoric surrounding it uh, when quarantine first started and we all went to digital teachers went to digital with no notice and everybody was like you guys are heroes and I was like thanks um, but now I'm kind of over it and I'll tell you why <sighs> this is gonna get me on a lot of people's bad side but it's fine it's not like I'm disrespectfully over it um, but I'm not a hero like I'm not saving anybody's life they've taxed teachers with saving the economy right now we are heroes of the economy but the problem is the economy has never done anything for us personally teacher being a teacher is one of the lowest paying professions that you can have with a degree um, and that does not mean that I am saying that other professions are not equally low paid we're all not paid enough but if you have a degree and you're not even hitting like fifty thousand dollars in central florida where it costs a lot more than that to live here on your own like how can i be a hero but not make a living wage i don't get it so i just set my eye with that white shade right here oh i didn't mean to use that finger right here it's called young love that's kind of how i feel about like the hero rhetoric right now and i get it it's inspiring and it's meant to like make teachers feel really good but at, like when quarantine first started people were like teachers are heroes they're doing so much and i'm like oh my god finally they're noticing and then um when we all said you know like in june you know hey we're kind of afraid to go back to work everybody was like excuse me be happy that you have a job and i'm like I, I can be both i can be happy to have a job and be afraid to go to the job i can love my children and still be afraid to return to work i couldn't even imagine how people who are teachers and parents feel right now i'm lucky enough that it's just brian and i but i'm still scared so the whole hero rhetoric i'm putting this um gray shade in my crease it's called stone faced yeah i don't like being called um a hero i just want to be respected for what i am which is an educator and i think that people call us heroes in like april and then in like late june we're like get back to work i pay your I pay your salary do what I say loser and it's like dang y'all went from heroes to get back to work really fast and that scares me it's almost as if you didn't mean it so I don't know I don't I don't like that rhetoric because we really don't get we really don't get treated like them so don't you know don't gas me up and call me a hero when I, I don't make a living wage in like any state in the United States is not just Florida taking that shade a little bit higher because um, I don't care about rules a lot of people might not agree with this and that's that's fine you can be okay with being called a hero this is just my personal opinion I don't like it um, and sometimes I think it can be a little manipulative for the media to call us that so that we work for less than we're worth because if, if we're being honest here, teachers are working for less than they're worth. We have been for um, decades. And I was watching, <laughs> I was watching a TikTok. Don't, don't, okay? I'm not in the mood. I was watching a TikTok and they were talking about, you know, teachers, if you continue to work for free, you are gonna continue to not get paid for your work, essentially, because, um, if you're not a teacher you may not understand this unless like you live with a teacher love a teacher have a teacher in your family but 
um, most of our, like, work goes home with us. As much as we try to not do that, it happens. Um, I'm gonna take a slightly darker shade. It's called, oh god, I'm dumb. I think it's called Slate. Slated. Slated. I'm gonna deepen up, uh, kind of right here. I might take it in the rest of my crease. We'll see. I'm liking how this is performing so far. Never used, like, a ColourPop matte shadow. I just don't like being like gassed up and then not treated like I'm valued afterward because like I'm not gonna lie I was pretty hype when we um started doing distance learning and people were like yo teachers are um angels like we don't deserve them and I was like finally they get it they get it we, we really do be out here working really hard. Oh, there's a lot of texture coming through underneath my eyes. I don't like that. Oh, do I not like this foundation? That's a shame. Um, but yeah, I was super gassed up. And then all of a sudden nobody cared about us anymore, especially our state and local officials. And um, what's worse than that is that they're willing to not only kind of experiment with us and see what happens if you throw a class full of kids and a, a teacher in a room together for um, an hour and a half and then switch periods, um, they're experimenting on my, my kids and I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. Like that, I'm getting like choked up. I don't like that. I'm really worried about my kids. I have kids that have lost people that they love from this virus. So I don't like that. No, I teach high school. So a lot of my kids probably um, decided to go virtual because they had the option. Unfortunately, teachers don't have the option to go virtual. I like the way that that's coming out. I like that. I might be onto something. I'm gonna go in just on this outer corner with uh, this black called Let's Do It, and I'm kind of scared. It's gonna be okay. It's fine. It's, this is me time. I just get to do what makes me happy. And this black color, I think, is gonna make me happy. So. Now, I personally think, oh, what if I did a halo eye? I'm gonna do a halo eye. If you don't know what that is, it's like putting the dark color here and here and then putting the shimmer in the middle so it's like a spotlight. Ooh, that would probably look really good. Personally, I think that the school that I work for is doing a really good job and working really hard to um, keep myself and my kids safe, but it's hard when schools are already underfunded. You can't, you can't tell me that they're not. You can't, <laughs> you can't. They're underfunded um, everywhere. They have never fully funded us. We're gonna go through so many wipes. We're gonna go through so much cleaning material. Um, do y'all like that I've been using the exact same brush this entire time, like a real uh, makeup artist? So they did, are gonna provide us with PPE. Every teacher gets, from what I've heard, five masks. And like I said earlier, I bought my own face shield. <gasps> Oh my god, this looks so... Do y'all see this? Oh my god, I've never been like more... <sighs> Classic me time. I needed this serotonin. I'm just gonna kind of use whatever's left on my brush and like blend it out this way. Wow. I'm like... <laughs> low-key impressed with myself. Do y'all like my half eyebrows that I keep, um, like, shaving off? Okay. I know that this doesn't look, like, super impressive. The blend looks great. I'm so impressed. One brush. Mwah. Hey, Winnie. Hi, baby. Hi. I bought new rugs for the house this week, and, um, <laughs> They're rubber because they're for the front and the back door and Brian like picked up the cat and he was like, why does Wendy smell like an auto zone? 
And it's because she's been rolling around on these rubber mats and she smells like a rubber mat now. Out of the shimmers, I want, I think I want just the brightest one, that bright silver in the middle. Um, that's called Starstruck. I like that. Whoa, dude. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I need a mirror for this. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Now I have hooded eyes, so sometimes I will take it up a little bit higher so you can actually- Holy guacamole! Yo. Oh my god. I kind of like to like fade it up here so it's just like a whisper and then down here it's like super intense. I was not ready for that. Rumble and out on the sides. So it's not as harsh. What a successful day of me time. Yo, I'm like lit for this look. Oh my god, I love this. It's a really good palette. They still have it on their- I think this is $12? Um, y'all should get this palette. I don't even have that much product on my finger. Oh my god. Let me, like, chill out. For what the, um, foundation lacked, the eyeshadow made up for. Dude, do y'all see that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get in here. Oh. Wow. Y'all see the um, texture on my skin though? And see here, it's kind of um, lifting. Oh no, not a fan of the foundation. Dang, that's a shame. I think I'm gonna do slated under my eye right here. Um, I need a smaller brush for that though, or it's gonna be messy. When, okay. When I was in teacher college, hear me out for a second, okay? This is what makes this so difficult. A lot of teachers that um, were nervous about going back were like, I'll just, I'll quit and get a different job. But I adore my school. I adore the classes I teach. I adore my children. I adore my coworkers. Like, I love my job. <laughs> no pandemic. I have my dream job. Ooh, she creased real bad under the eyes. Oof. Wait, they used to have us do these exercises in college, um, like writing down or planning out what our dream high school and our dream job would be and like what that looked like. And then they would be like, okay, it's not going to look like that. You know, because a lot of, uh, a lot of times, I've worked at different schools, a lot of times it is not an ideal situation. So when people, you know, were like, if you don't want to go back, just quit, it's like, um, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I love my job and I, I want to see my kids and I want to teach my, my classes that I've, I love and that I've worked so hard to develop. Um, I, gosh, I, ju I could go on forever about how much I love my job. I thought that if teaching, uh, was like the way it was my first year of teaching, um, I got my degree in the wrong thing and I needed to get out as quickly as possible. And then I got hired and I have the best job in the world for me. It makes me so happy to get up in the morning and go to work. Is this therapy? Okay. My camera died, so I just did my eyebrows. I don't, I don't like this foundation. I'm gonna put a little more powder on my face because hopefully that'll make it stay on. It just seems like it's falling off. This foundation just doesn't look good. Ooh, girl, what are you focusing on? Because it ain't me. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. That was rude. Let's contour. <laughs> I'm not excited about it because I know it's gonna further ruin the foundation. And you know what, it could be because I put translucent powder underneath and this is a dewy foundation. <sighs> oh my God, y'all weren't gonna tell me I had powder all over my shirt, seriously? I literally don't think I've ever bought a dewy foundation. Maybe that's my fault. I'm using the, um, oh, 
It's like pulling... It's like chunky! Oh dear. I'm using the Hula Benefit Bronzer because I got this for free one time at Ulta. Ooh. I look like I glued a carrot to my nose. Yeah. <laughs> she unfocused because she knows. Oh, my camera's shady as heck. She wants to focus on the Beatles poster instead of me. Like, I get it, but it's not about them. It's me time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Was that so hard? I'm gonna put some uh, mascara on. This is the Essence Lash Princess. Oh, that blush was the Tarte blush in the shade Party. That's another free thing I got a couple years ago. This eye look came out so good. I don't, I'm sorry to flex on y'all, but like this eye look is really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this more often. Oh, I just poked myself in the eyeball. I'm, I'm gonna try this. Okay, this gives me like Marc Jacobs vibes. This is the ColourPop highlighter in the shade Manifest That. Okay, I've never used it, so we're gonna see what it looks like. It doesn't go with this look at all, if I'm being honest. I should probably do a silver highlighter, but I really want to... Man, I really want to see what this looks like. Maybe I'll just swatch it. I genuinely don't remember it looking like this when I bought it on the website. Like purple, green, pink. I'm gonna swatch it and see. It's so soft. Colourpop, you might be onto something, girl. What the heck? It's kind of like this pinky, silvery, wet color. I don't know that that would necessarily clash with my makeup right now. Let's see what happens. We can always put a silver on top. Let's see what happens. Oh. I feel dumb for not buying more things from Colourpop now. I really slept on them because, uh... I mean, you can buy it in Ulta, but it used to be like online only, and I've always been really skeptical skeptical about buying things um, online. But kind of don't really have a choice right now because I'm not going into an Ulta anytime soon. Especially to what's the point? You can't swatch anything right now. Okay, I'm really impressed with that. Hmm, this is really uh, really good. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and my brow bone my eyebrows don't look great because i shaved them off i'm gonna take more of that starstruck shade in the middle this silver right here to the brow oh my god that looks so good on the brow bone i might have done a little too much on the brow bone if i'm being honest but who cares it's me time Ooh, i feel like I can be seen from space and I like it. I'm gonna do my lips. Oh, I have this wet and wild. Ooh. 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 I have these wet and wild liquid cat suit. Um liquid lips. Um and the shade Sleepy Hollow and Lavender Crown. I think that has the right undertones. This is Sleepy Hollow. I think this is a Halloween release. Watch me overline my lips. You ready? These liquid cat suits are really good if you want a liquid lip that um, it performs really well. Obviously, it stays on. It can be very drying, but it's cheap. I think these are like $5.99. Come on. I have no top lip right now, but come on. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. This is one dip. Come on now. I severely overlined my lips, but I don't really care. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of this gloss on here because this can get really dry. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 It's a little minty. I think that is... 
I mean, the finished look. Let me put some setting spray on. That's ColourPop. That's my life. <laughs> That's me time today. So please send me positive thoughts. Uh, I would really, really appreciate it. I'm just really, really nervous. Like I said, I know that like my school, my admin are doing everything that they can, but a lot of the stuff is out of our control. You know, the virus is going to do what it's going to do. So um, I will see you guys next time for another installment of Me Time.